Hi guys, this is Alex from Cognation and I wanted to spend a minute to go over the very basics of how light sensors work when it comes to line following. Uh, so this is an EV3 light sensor that I've added to the front of this robot here. And uh, it works uh, in a couple of different ways. So you can use it to detect uh, color, but in this case we're going to use something called reflected light intensity. So what that means is that um, you can see here that there's a red light that's coming out of the bottom of the sensor. And if I move the robot um, here, I'll, I'll move the robot around. You can see that that is being generated by the, uh, the sensor itself. So that red light goes down and it hits a surface underneath the robot. And then a certain amount of that light is reflected back. So if I was on a mirror, an extremely white piece of paper, uh, almost all the light that was beamed down would come back into the sensor. So there are, there's a, um, a photoresistor in the sensor that tells, tells you how much, what percentage of that light came back into the, into the sensor. So I have the robot here on a table and it's uh, kind of a light tannish brown color. So when I look at the robot in port view, uh, I can see live that the 73% uh, the of the light is being bounced back and the robot is, is receiving 73% of that light. If I move the robot and put that same sensor over top of a dark section, um, all of a sudden you see that reflected light is much lower number. Uh, so it's it's fluctuating. It does this in, in real life as well, uh, but it's somewhere between 2 and 7% it looks like here. But because there is a significant difference between 72% and, uh, oh, 0, okay. Uh, it just depends where you are on the line. But uh, because there's a difference between the high and the low and because there's sort of a slow change of that, you can use that in order to follow lines in, uh, in in challenges like this and in World Robot Olympiad in general. So uh, I'll go over how to do that more specifically in line following, uh, but I just wanted to show how the percentage of light being reflected back is the key when it comes to line following with uh, this particular sensor. So thanks a lot.